Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> okay, so now to finish it all off, talking about iconic live performances that we are absolutely not familiar with at all. This is... He, he, he. He, he, he. Estadio Único de la Plata, Indio en Concierto. All right, so Indio is like a icon of live performing in Argentina. I have never heard of him before. Before? And this is our first time nice. watching him on a live performance. <coughs> I mean, nice. nice. <laughs> I mean, nice. So, uh, <laughs> absolute wonders I've heard about this. Go on, let's give it a go. So, let's, let's, have a, let's have a look. Last one for the day. Last one for the win. Wow. What the fuck? Wow. Vaya. Oh, that, oh Jesus Christ! My God, Christ. what the hell? Mira la olla, viste la olla? Ooh, ooh. Oh my God, what, what a cool guy! <laughs> Look at smile in the guitar. He's just like, oh. Woo! Fireworks! What a wild concert, bro. You said 45,000 people in La Plata? Yeah, in stadium. Oh. <laughs> the thing is packed. <laughs> no, dude. The thing is so packed, people are throwing fireworks <laughs> in the air. That's how lit they are. What the? They, none of them have a top on. <laughs> That's how freaking fire it is. Jesus Christ. I will double check, but I think that's the amount of people. Do you want to check now? Yeah. 45,000 people. Plata State. So, Estadio. Estadio Único de la Plata. Argentina, I think. De la Plata. En el 2008. This was 2008. 53,000. Oh! Come on. <laughs> And the thing is packed. My it's, God. That's like, yeah, it's like Wembley. Wembley 60, I think. Holy Wow! Shit. We're watching 53,000 people jump up and down! I think... And I saw it before with Los Pericos. Ah, there. Wow. In the same stadi stadium. Yeah. Uh -huh. It costed... a hundred million dollars approximately to build it. And it opened in 2003. Mm -hmm. Wow. Started building in 1997. So when... Just before I was born. Oh, wow. Okay. My God. What are That's we watching? <laughs> what the hell are we watching? How is the singer so chill, bro? Yeah, he's, he's like, like a whole I do this on a Sunday. Vibe, bro. And, and it has the uh, the uh, the intro. What what's with the vibe of Los Pericos? Los Pericos, yeah, pretty Life, ska ish. Yeah. I wonder. So oh, let me just search this up really yes, fast. Yes, yes. Oh my like God, Indio. I did a couple of covers from Los, Los Pericos. Pericos. Yes. Yeah, they were such. They were a great band. I don't know if they're together or like no, no, touring no, no, or anything still. Not anymore. I think not anymore. Uh -huh. They did a reunion about three, four years ago and a uh, short tour, and I think they stopped again. Oh wow! Yeah, they were they were mad. If you don't know who they are, also go check them out. In they, they, yeah. Sorry, Indio Solari, <laughs> oh yeah, Indio Solari, Carlos Alberto Solari, known as Indio Solari. He um. Wow. He's been active since the 70s until now. ¿Cuáles son sus géneros? Rock, alternative rock, hard rock, and post grunge. Oh, okay, cool. And I don't know what post. It's rock music subgenre that emerged in the early 90s. Originally, the term was used almost projectively to label bands such as Bush, Candlebox, and Collective Soul yeah. that emulated the original sound of grunge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell is yeah. grunge? Grunge is a style from the 90s that is it's a subdivision of rock itself. Yeah. Uh, that, that was very came popular from, in the 90s. Uh, came from heavy, Seattle. Heavy, 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 yeah. Oh, I see. It came from Seattle. First time I've ever heard that. It big on and on the whole uh, distortion on the guitar. Yeah, with, with, with more uh, flavor of ska. Yeah. So it's a... Um, if you want to listen to some something more commercial <laughs> grunge, <laughs> more commercial grunge, a uh, something a bit more light would be like listening to Nirvana. Nirvana. Oh, I see, I see. Go on, let's keep going. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Just giving you a bit of yeah, this. Yeah, thanks, sir. What? That's metals. <laughs> No 
one has a top. Oh, so easy for him. He he's, won. He's a, he's a clay mixture between Fito Paez, Charlie Garcia, uh, Soda Stereo, and Los Pericos. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, Gustavo Cerati también ahí metido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like crazy. That man, what the actual hell are yeah, we that's, watching? That's India. My God, he won. He, he literally he life. won yeah. at life. Yeah, he wins. My freaking hell. Yeah. Did, could you hear the people chanting with it wow, wow, in the wow, metal wow, section? Yeah, I, I, however, I, says when less is more oh well he's basically the pinnacle living breathing existence of it no he's basically like if you look at the word smooth it, yeah that picture of the el indio comes out yeah just there <laughs> <laughs> you know his shiny head and his glasses <laughs> <laughs> how is, how is mr suave <laughs> wow yeah dude that's so weird that it's so easy for him that's actually un- incomprehen- uncomprehend incomprehensible incomprehensible there you go <laughs> English. Have a 
Me llamaron, aquí estoy. I remember I had at least four different covers from Soda Stereo. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Uh, and my live performance. Uh, I had Los Pericos. Mm -hmm. Nice. And yeah, something from Charlie Garcia as well. Um, because, Mad musicians, yeah, because no? Because in Argentina, music is seriously good. Good. They are so outstanding. Well, they all. I mean, today is a bloody example of that. That like there's levels to music, and they really seem to nail it over there. They, they make it look easy. Yeah. Right. But you don't know how many hours we oh, have of course, to of course. to produce a, a simple cover. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Right. My God, what uh, it, just the the composition of that track, simplistic at, at its best, right? If you look at it from from a very uh, technical perspective, well, simple track. A very easy structure to follow. Really good arrangements that enhance the whole experience. But the delivery, my God, the whole band, it was so integrated. It wasn't just watching him as a, as a singer, as a vocalist, but it was it was the atmosphere that was created to, to that point. Obviously, this is the farewell song. This is the finale. This is the, the big bang. The, so... It, 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 the emotions are running very high, uh, but the feedback, the very active audience, the very active musicians and stuff, you can see the staff dancing in the background. I mean, mad, it's that, mad. It's definitely one of those moments which I think, yeah, many, I think all musicians try to dream, you know, dream of. of the, this is this is every dr performer's dream. This he literally had it. Whoa. Yeah. Boy! Yeah. 